Hello, my dear friends. I am Jaime Maussan from Mexico, and I've been invited to this Congress since 1991 to the International UFO Congress, probably around 15, 60 times with my dear friend Bob Brown. I have participated in this incredible event, and I really enjoyed it. This year, however, I'm not able to be there for reasons that are out of my hand. But I, I wish that if I am invited next year, I will be there. Uh, this year, uh, I wish to tell you that something very extraordinary happened, and I want to bring this to your attention. Because on January 28th, in uh, Jerusalem, an event, a real event, occurred. I know for many people, they have doubts. Some other people thought that this was viral publicity. But this case is real. We have been able to investigate every single detail, and we have found many reasons to believe that this is not just a real event, but a very important event, an event that can change history. On that night, around five minutes to one a.m., Eligael Gejaldovich, with a friend, were uh, taking pictures in a very high area in Jerusalem. At that moment, they realized that there was a strange object hovering over the Temple of the Dome, or the Rock, a very sacred place, not just for Muslims, but also for Jews, Christians, and Catholics. This place is related to history many, many times. As we can see in this uh, video, uh, there is an object hovering there, and this object comes down in a straight line to the dome of the rock. We can see a man that is in front of the camera. It's a second man, and he's recording this UFO with a cell phone. We can see this cell phone above his head. At uh, this moment, we can see how the object is coming down directly to the temple. And it stays there for 23 seconds. Both men are really amazed. But they continue recording. And it is important because we can see that there are two videos and they are very coincidental. Every single analysis that has been done proves that they were Whoa. recorded at the same time. <laughs> we could hear the, exp the explosion of these men, the amazement of these men, and later they were able to record these <laughs> fleets at night, red objects that are pulsating above Jerusalem. <laughs> we can see some details here, like this flashing of the object before it goes to the sky. Almost all downtown Jerusalem was illuminated by this flashing. This is the second video. We can see that the hands are shaky, that the object is moving. He's recording with a single hand in front of his face. With every single detail is there. And the object over the dome. Right at the same time, this second object also leaves. And we can see the exclamation of this man. And he also can uh, see these lights, red orbs, over the skies of Jerusalem. Fortunately, we found what is called the fourth video. We will talk about the third video later on. This fourth video shows four young kids are partying. 
above Jerusalem. And we can see that they are playing, they leave this man. Uh, he seems to be a little bit mad, then they go for him. For that reason, all of them were out. And they were able to see this from a different angle. Please watch. The object is so much closer. And there are some details that I want to attract to your attention. They also see these red orbs hovering above Jerusalem. It means that all of the videos are very, very similar. In this fourth video, we can see that the object has a different shape than in the other two videos that we observe. And now you can see the reflection of the object above the dome. Please watch this carefully, because there we have a, an element that proves that the presence of the object was real. And as soon as the object leaves, all the domes comes black. Watch. Observe the dome, and then the object leaves. And we can see how this turns black, right there. Very, very clear. We can see both shots now, together. And we can see that this image is very real. And we now have the three of them. This is probably the most important video ever because it's in a sacred place, because it's very spectacular, and because it was recorded by three different witnesses. Wow! <laughs> One of the best evidences that prove that this video is real is a weather camera, a security camera that takes a shot every 10 minutes above the city of Jerusalem. Fortunately, this camera was able to get the image of the object above the dome just three minutes before 1 a.m., proving that the evidence that was presented in the first place is right, not just with the image, but also in the timing. For that reason, we believe this is a real evidence. And we have now to try to understand how important this is. Because this is a biblical place. It's the place where Mahoma or Mohammed was taken to the sky by the Burak, by the luminosity. It's the place where Jacob dreamed with angels coming up and down from that place where uh, Jehovah told him that Israel was going to be the land of the Jews. Both uh, Muslims and Jews have very important reasons to believe that this is a sacred place. Then you have the last word. For us, it's a real evidence. We know that Eligael Gejaldovich recorded the first video. We know that four students from the Ben Gurion High School recorded the last video. For that reason, we know who they are. Eligael Gejaldovich, after one week, after hiding for a week, because was, the pressure was extreme, he decided to present a confirmation that he was the one who recorded the first video of this incredible event. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Eligael and I filmed the UFO video in my Since I uploaded the video, I've got many comments and replies, and I thank everyone. I'm very sorry I couldn't answer uh, until today. Um, since that event, uh, I couldn't sleep, and I didn't know how to react. 
until I got the conclusion that I can't run away from it and must react and uh, do a research about what is going on there on this specific spot of the Dome of the Rock Temple Mount. Uh, especially because this is not my first time I saw a UFO there and uh, I live in Tel Aviv. So um, I really, really believe that there's uh, something going on there. Everyone was there, you know, the different atmosphere that brings some people to the Jerusalem syndrome. So I believe uh, there is something uh, beyond a religious or political conflict in this specific point. Not accidentally, it's one of the uh, biggest uh, spots of conflict on the planet. Uh, so, for the meantime, after, uh, according to the comments I, I got and the request, the uh, first thing I intend to do is go to uh, Jerusalem to film from the locations that the UFO was filmed and to bring you the video of the locations. Uh, I don't know if you prefer on daytime or night shot, so if you can tell me, um, I, I'll make a contact with the other witnesses and ask them to join me, um, and uh, all the conclusion, the video I will shoot, I will publish in my YouTube channel, and every step I intend to do in the future, I will publish in my uh, Twitter. Um, so, I, I'm not a religious person, but uh, I want to quote from Prophet Isaiah who said about this specific point, uh, these words, uh, uh, shall my house of prayer will be a prayer house for all nations or for all people translation. So, in the meantime, uh, thank you very much, and soon I will upload the video. Thank you, and bye bye. At this moment, Eliga Gejadovich is doing his own investigation. He's going to present the results very soon. We have to be alert. We are willing to go to Jerusalem at the moment that the doors are open to do our own investigation. I want to thank John Rao for this opportunity. I want to thank all the people, Antonio Juneos, Tom, Alejandro Rojas, and everyone who made this event a very spectacular one. I am very sure this is the beginning of a new era for the International UFO Congress. Thank you very much, my friends. Enjoy your dinner, and I will see you next year. Thank you very much.